Today marks an important turning point for Chardon High School. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Chris Flanagan. Tracy is off tonight. The senior class graduated today. Of course, it's been a tough school year for Chardon. Back in February, a gunman walked into the school shooting and killing three students and injuring three others. This afternoon, the senior class held its commencement ceremony at the Menor Fine Arts Auditorium. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin is there and has more. Michael. Chris, Superintendent Joe Brigant said today is about the class of 2012, not the events of February 27th. But for many, what happened was on their mind as they try and move on to the most important subject, life. A song that seemed appropriate after what the students here have gone through. I hope the words I use during these difficult times help you as you continue to heal and move forward in your lives. As a result, you touch the hearts and minds of so many in our community of Chardon, our Ohio, and the nation, and, and frankly, many parts of the world. Chardon Superintendent Joe Brigant telling the class of 2012 to stay strong. It was just over three months ago that a 17 year old gunman went into the Chardon High School cafeteria, shot and killed three people. After everything happened, I don't really want to leave our school because I feel like we've come so, become so close and everyone is so much more loving, it's going to be really hard to leave it. The graduating class of 2012, an exciting yet somber time. It's sad, but I mean, we all have to move on for them and they're all looking down on us, so they're here with us. The kids are bouncing back. It's the parents. Yeah, the parents are having a hard time. Laura Velbeck is happy her son is one of the 250 or so seniors getting their diploma today inside the Menor Fine Arts Auditorium. But in light of what happened, she is also happy for something else. It'll get easier. I myself am glad I don't have to go back to the school. There were five victims during the shooting melee in February, and one of the surviving victims, Joyce Rickers, walked across the stage today and received her diploma. The superintendent said the class of 2012 showed leadership at the city's lowest point. We're live in the newsroom. On your side, I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5.